Hi, today I will show you how to generate auto schema markup for pages, posts, and WooCommerce products using Review and Schema plugin in WordPress. First install the plugin from WordPress.org. Now navigate the WordPress admin menu and go to Review Schema. Let's start by checking the settings first. Now go to the Schema tab. There are some sub-menus for different settings. The first tab reads General Information. In General Settings under Schema Support, I will set the schema type for the specific post type to generate auto schema markup. The schema type for posts will be Blog Posting. For Pages, select the schema type as Articles. For Product Post Type, the schema type selection is Product. Post schema type and products schema type fields are hidden because we already set these types in the shortcode generator. We can generate schema in either of two ways, from settings, by choosing post type and schema type and from shortcode generator. Now, let's check other settings including the site info, logo, price range and other site information. When managing the social profile fields, you can add multiple social profiles. Under the Suborganization tab, you can add suborganization information like the name and URL. The Corporate Contact tab enables you to add the corporate contact information. From Publisher Info, you can enable the site link search box, which will show up in the Google search results and main menu. You can disable all the third party default schema from the third party plugins tab. From third party plugins, I will disable default WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, Yoast site link search box, and Yoast default schema. Now I will go to the Archive Page tab to enable schema markup for the Archive Page. Choose the schema type you want, be it article, news article, or blog posting. Enabling schema for the product archive will apply the settings to WooCommerce and the EDD product. Next is the WooCommerce tab, which holds very important information for product schema. Here you need to add the brand name, identifier type, and identifier value. I will just add some dummy data for the test run. Now I'll go right back to the schema settings again and see how the blog posting schema is generated for posts. To test your structured data, you can do it from two URLs using Google Rich Result Test and Schema Markup Validator. Let's copy a post URL and paste it on both search boxes then test the URL. Now when we check the result, there is no error or warning. All tests have green markers. You can confirm that the type is blog posting and the rest is the schema data. Now let's check the URL in the validator.schema.org. Paste the URL and click on Run Test. There is no error or warning here either. Confirm that the blog post type is blog posting. The heading is there and the rest are the schema data. This Google structured data is auto-generated by Radius Theme Review Schema plugin. Now I will show how to generate schema markup for a page. Let's go to Schema Settings. You see that I already set the page schema type as article. Let's test a page in Google Rich Result and Schema Markup Validator. Copy a page URL and paste it in Rich Result Test. Check out the results of the About page with a schema type of article. There is no error or warning here so our schema data is OK. Now I will test the URL in validator.schema.org. 
Let's check the result when the schema type is article. There is no error or warning here either, so our schema data is okay. As per our settings, all pages will generate article type schema. Now I will show how you can edit schema data manually. Let's go to the edit mode and see the bottom of the page or post meta options. Look at the review schema settings. First, I need to make sure that the custom rich snippet checkbox is checked, otherwise it will not show any effect in the front end. Now take a look at how you need to change schema type and you can manually edit all data. Alternatively, there is an autofill button. If click on this button, it will autofill the data of this page or post in these fields. Now I will show you how we can generate auto schema markup for a WooCommerce product. Go to the main settings and see that the products and schema type is set as products. This is hidden because we already generated product type schema from the shortcode generator. Go to the front end of a product page and copy the URL and test it in Google Rich Result. There is no error or warning here. These are the schema data of products. Schema type is products, aggregate rating and others elements. Now paste the URL and test it in validator.schema.org. There is no warning or error here. There is the schema as product type, aggregate rating and review. So everything is okay. Thanks for watching our video. If you face any issue, please mail support at radiustheme.com. We will help you out as soon as possible.